Thanks for tuning in to Biohackly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my longevity ozone generator for ozone bagging. All right, let's get started. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. Please seek the advice of your medical doctor before you try anything like this at home. According to Dr. Frank Schellenberger, bagging is good for any condition involving an arm or a leg, such as an infection, a rash, or even a non-healing wound. It's important to dampen the area first, so you could use something like this mister bottle and uh, spray the area. Or you could use a bubbler like I've got here, a glass bubbler, and if you do that you need to use a check valve, and you should always use a glass check valve, not one of the Teflon check valves that uh, you can get. They're small Teflon check valves, but they leak over time. And the last thing you want, the whole purpose behind this is to prevent any back pressure or liquids from going backwards into your ozone generator. So let me give you a little bit of a lowdown on the equipment here. This is my oxygen tank from Longevity Resources. This is a industrial oxygen tank. It's filled with food grade oxygen. This is the gold standard of oxygen regulators here, this gold regulator. This is also from Longevity Resources. This is another one of Longevity's high quality oxygen regulators right there. Longevity's regulators are a little more expensive than some of the regulators you're going to find online. This is in the $200 range. If you buy a regulator in the $100 to $150 range, you're not going to get a good quality regulator. You need to spend a little bit more. If you get a cheaper regulator, there is a chance that you might get inaccurate flows or even leaks at some point. So spend a little extra money and get yourself a better oxygen regulator. These regulators from Longevity Resources will work on any industrial oxygen tank. So if you have another oxygen tank, you can get a hold of a Longevity and you can order one of these better regulators. And I'll put the model numbers on the screen so that you can uh, see which ones I'm talking about. And when you call them, you can refer to that. In fact, I'll give you their number here. Their website is ozonegenerator.com. Their phone number is 250-654-0092. Uh, but if you're in North America, they have a toll-free number and that's one 877 543-3398 Longevity Resources. That's where I got the oxygen tank from, the regulators, and of course my ozone generator. This is the EXT120T Ultra. This is Longevity's newest ozone generator developed with NEOS technology. It's all digital. Uh, you can see I have the ozone concentration on the right hand side here. I have it set to four right now. On the left side we have a timer. I've got it set right now to 30 minutes because Dr. Frank Schellenberger suggests doing bagging for 30 minutes, so I've already got it set to 30 minutes. The way that the ozone generator works is that when I hit the start button, the timer is going to start. It's going to start generating ozone. It's going to count down till it gets to zero, and it's automatically going to stop the timer and stop the ozone generation and just leave the machine with the fan running until I go ahead and hit that power off button for the machine itself. The reason that I chose the Longevity Resources machine is after watching a bunch of videos online from Dr. Robert Rowan, Dr. Frank Schellenberger, and Dr. Gary Gordon. They all suggested Longevity Resources and talked about their ozone generators. So I went to their website. Their client list is incredible. I'll put a graphic up and show you. I mean, NASA, Brookhaven National Laboratories, Boeing, Carl Zeiss Lens, uh, NOAA. Everybody uses Longevity Resources machines in laboratories, medical offices, and uh, for personal use. Great, great machines. There's two machines above this, and there's about two or three machines below this in price, so it's a fairly reasonably priced ozone generator. It's worth it to spend a little bit more than what you would pay for maybe something out of China, under a thousand dollars type of thing, because if you're gonna get a cheap ozone generator, they're probably gonna be manufactured with cheap parts, which perhaps aren't ozone resistant or maybe over time might break down and leach materials into your ozone is just not worth it. These things will last forever. Longevity's got one of the best warranties in the business. These things will last for years and years and years and years and years. So get a good one because it's gonna last just like getting a good oxygen regulator. So when it comes to setting up the gamma for your bagging, Dr. Schellenberger suggests using 35 gamma for healing and 80 gamma for infections. Let me get my chart out here. I'm gonna set the oxygen tank to 1 16th. Let me just make sure I've got the valve open. And I'm gonna set the ozone generator 
to four, which I already have. And in doing so, it's going to generate, uh, in this case, actually 37.4 gamma, so very close to 35 gamma. By the way, this chart that I'm using is also on the top of the ozone generator, so it's very handy. You never have to worry about losing this chart that I've got here. So let's go ahead and hook up the machine. I'm gonna take the output here, which is this clear line of oxygen, and I'm gonna run that into the clear line in on the ozone generator, and that's a uh, quick connect. It just slips together, it's a very snug fit, fits well. The ozone output, which is this silicone line here, I'm gonna run into the top of the trap, and you'll see that it actually will only go one way. So this, in other words, it won't plug into the bottom because that's a male adapter. So it's plugged into the top of the trap, and then we take the bottom of the trap and we plug that into the top of the bubbler. And again, that'll actually only go one way as well. It won't plug into the bottom of the bubbler, in other words. Now again, the reason that we have this set up is because we're gonna be running ozone through the trap and through into the bubbler and the bubbler is going to humidify the ozone so instead of adding moisture from our spray bottle here we're actually going to humidify the ozone instead so it's actually going to come through uh, with some moisture at the same time and that's going to feed into the line right here which I'll connect up and the way that this is going to work is I'm actually going to I'm actually going to hold this inside the bag. I'll show you the ozone bag, or the bagging bag here for, for doing bagging. So this is what the bag looks like right here. And you can see that it's got a hose on it. So if I just lay this down right here, that hose, we're going to connect with this adapter here, which is a male-to-male -male adapter because that's a female end on the hose here. It's also a quick connect, so it just slips right in. And I'm going to hook that up to my ozone destruct unit. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hold the ozone and I'm going to put my arm in the bag. Now the oxygen's going to come through here, create ozone, the ozone's going to come through here into the bag, and then it's going to go out of the bag through that ozone destruct unit, convert back to oxygen. So we're just going to get a flow through the bag and we're going to let that run for 30 minutes. So I will show you how I would do that. I would just take this end here. Let me just roll my sleeve up. Okay, and I'll just take this end here. And to make it easy, I'll just stick it under my arm so I can hold it. And I will move it into the end of the bag like that. And then all I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna take the bag, as you can see here, and just roll it up at the end and get a nice tight fit on the arm like that. You can see how I've got it. So I'm gonna just take a piece of tape that I've got here and I'm just gonna tape that down. So I've just got a piece of black tape on there holding it so that there's no ozone that can leak out into the air. That's the whole idea is to keep the ozone enclosed. It's gonna go through the tube into the bag and as you can see from that destruct unit, it's gonna come out of the bag and go through the destruct unit. So let's go ahead and turn it on now. We'll hit the start button. I'll turn that to 1 16th. And I think you can see we've got some bubbles running through here. So you can see the ozone's actually running through the glass trap or check valve. And it's running through the bubbler right now. We can actually see the bubbles in the bubbler. So ideally what I would do is I would just wait for 30 minutes and I would let this protocol continue until its uh, time is up. But I think in this case I'm gonna, instead of boring you waiting here for 30 minutes, I'm just gonna shut things down. First of all, just t tell you a little bit about uh, Dr. Frank Schellenberger's new book because this protocol I learned from his new book called The Ozone Miracle which is available on Amazon.com. I'll put a graphic up for it and I'll put a link down in the description down below. Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book covers pretty well every ozone protocol that you could want to uh, do. Like that's where I've learned how to do this one and my ozone rectal insufflation. Uh, this is where I learned to make ozonated water. He has pretty well every protocol that you would want in that book and he pretty well answers every question I think that you could ever have. And it's also written in layman terms. So his previous book was called Principles and Applications of Ozone Therapy, A Practical Guide for Physicians. And that was a great book, but it's very technical, and, and as it says right on there, it's for physicians. So this new book is really sort of like a layman's guide for home, and, and if you get it, it's really easy to read, 
and it's fantastic information. You've got to get the book because if you're, if you're interested in ozone at all, it is the guide. So The Ozone Miracle from Dr. Frank Schellenberger on Amazon and the link will be down below. So let's go ahead and stop this now. Now, typically we would wait until this went down to zero and as I mentioned, it would have stopped generating ozone automatically. But I'm just going to hit the stop button and I'm just going to turn that back to off. And you'll see now in the water, there's no ozone going through. You just see no bubbles at all coming through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take my arm out of the bag. And I'll just sort of pull it out. But I want to try and keep the end closed because you don't want the ozone leaking out. You can see we've still got all the ozone in the bag there. So we're just going to kind of pull the arm out of the bag. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze all the rest of this ozone. Let me just take this hose out because it's... There's no flow going through it. So now what I want to do is I just want to squeeze all the rest of that ozone in there out into the ozone destruct unit so that none of it gets in the surrounding area in the air around here. So that pretty well does it. Okay, so now I can actually disconnect that. Disconnect this and I can save that bag and I can use that bag again. So now what I'll do is I'll disconnect the bubbler from the trap right here. And then I will disconnect the bubbler from the hose that I was using. And finally I'll disconnect the ozone generator from the trap and disconnect the oxygen tank. And I'll actually turn that valve off. I turned that on ahead of time. And I'll go ahead and turn the power off. So thanks for watching the video. Please share the video and please subscribe. As I mentioned in the description, I'll put a link to Longevity Resources website, which is ozonegenerator.com, and I'll put their phone numbers in there as well. Actually, I'll put the model numbers for the different um, products as well, just so you know what I'm using here. And Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book, The Ozone Miracle, it's available on amazon.com, and I'll put a link for that as well in the description.